block handy today for today, uh, today's session. I'm going to start seated on the block so you can have it long ways and then have the feet either side and just sit your bum down onto the block. You can have two blocks here if that, you know, if that feels uncomfortable on your knees and you can also just sit cross-legged and adapt it as we go. You can have your hands on your thighs and just rub your hands up and down a little bit. Then you can then bring your hands to interlace or fingers to interlace and then draw a few circles with the wrist one way and circle it the other way. And then we'll just take the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, draw the shoulders back, press the hands down. And we'll take a nice big breath into the chest. And as you exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can wrap your right arm around your back. Keep the fingers interlaced. You're just going to press your left hand into your right hand and then let your left ear fall towards the left shoulder. You get a nice stretch through the right side of the neck. And bringing the head back up, you're going to take your left arm around your back. So push the palm of the hand into the into the palm of the hand and let your right ear fall towards the right shoulder. Breathe into the left side. And then bringing the head back up, releasing the hands. You can give the shoulders a shake one way. And then shake uh, little circles the other way. You can then just lean into your left side and pick your right foot up. Reach then your right hand as far forwards as you can. That's it, good. And wrap your right arm around your right shin. So you can be here, or you could take your hand, and uh, right hand and turn the palm face up. Take it just on the outside of your right thigh. Reach your left hand forwards and take the left arm up to the sky and around the back. You might be able to catch hold of the fingers. You know, push down through your right foot and then try and open up into your left shoulder. Yeah, good. Breathe in. Then breathe out. First little soiree into the hips. Opening up your chest. And then release. Good. Placing your right shin back down onto the mat. And then gonna push your right hip down into the block and then lift your left foot up. Good, now once you get there, you can reach your left arm as far forwards as you can. Wrap your left arm just in front of that left shin. Now you can stay here like this or rotate the left palm to the sky. Take it there on the outside of the left thigh, right fingers forwards. And then take the right arm around your back and uh, catch hold of your, your fingers and then open up the right shoulder. Breathe into the left side. It's that left hip. Take it one more breath. We push there in a second, you're gonna stand onto this left foot. And then release. So you're just gonna pick your right foot up. You're gonna be sat on your block. A little easy malasana. You can have your elbows inside the knees. And you're just wiggling your chest up towards the sky. That's it. And you can, the more you draw your hands down, the more of a stretch you're going to get in your wrists. Breathing in. And then breathing in. Nice. Good. And releasing the hands. Just take your right hand around your uh, back and have your elbow inside the knee. Okay, so slide the back of the hand inside that right uh, waist and then take your left hand, back of the hand, inside the left side of the waist. Elbows are inside the knees. So it might feel a little bit strange, but you can try and push the knees open. That's it, good. Ground down through your sit bones. Notice how it feels in your wrists. 
Inhale. And exhale. Good, and then release. You can then just bring your feet together. You can stay on your block a minute. Soles of the feet together. Push down through the fingertips, lift up nice and tall. Good, and we'll take the right hand outside of the left leg. Left fingertips behind you. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just let the left ear fall to the left shoulder and squeeze your right shoulder down the back. And then release, we we'll change sides, left hand outside of the right leg, right fingertips behind. And again, taking that big breath in. Long breath out, you can let your right ear fall to the right shoulder. And then picking the head back up and release. You can bring one foot in front of the other now. Let the knees press down, let the pelvis tilt forward so you're kind of, you know, on the edge of the block. And hands on your thighs, let your eyes close. And take a few breaths all together. Long breath in through your nose. Just open your mouth, exhale, let it go. And again, long breath in. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Last time, big breath in. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just breathe normally for a minute. Mindfully. Hopefully we've opened up a few parts of the body that might have been a little bit stiff after your day yesterday, after your night's sleep, after whatever you've been doing. Now you're ready for the class ahead. Okay, so you can blink your eyes open and pop the block just to one side for a minute. We're going to come in onto our all fours. So you can have hands just below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And then start to rock forwards and back. It's always a nice place to start. And you might want to take little circles one way. And then circles the other way. That's it. You can then um, turn the fingers towards your knees. They might not go all the way. Yes, yeah, so they might be uh, hanging out towards the side a little bit. And you can take little circles again, so you're gripping onto the floor. With the fingertips, making sure you're looking after the inner wrists, and then take the circles the other way. Good. And then bringing the fingers to flip forwards again, straight into cat cows. Let the belly sink, lift the head chest up. Push them that way and round into the back, chin to chest. And again, letting the belly sink, lifting the head chest up. Good, and then pushing the mat away, rounding into the back. Last time, belly six, lift the head chest up. Good, and then push the mat away and round into the back. So come back, back to neutral, tuck your toes under, and then hover your knees just a centimeter off the floor. Yeah, keep them a centimeter. Let the belly sink, lift the head chest up. Push the mat away, round into the back. And again, let the belly sink, those knees are hovering. Round into the back, chin to chest. Last time, hopefully the legs are starting to fire now, core is starting to fire. Push away, round into the back. Good, lift the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. And then you can squeeze the heels down one by one, give the hips a nice little shake. Let's get into the hamstrings a little bit. Good. Walk your hands towards your feet. Bend your knees, hold on to opposite elbows. Do a little sway from side to side. Hopefully that feels nice. Feels good for me. And then releasing the hands, walk your way back into a downward dog. 
Press the heels down. See if you can lift your toes up. You know, if you get your heels down, you can start to lift your toes up. And then walk your feet towards your hands. Once you get there again, hold on to opposite elbows, relax your head, sway from side to side. Releasing the hands, inhale, take a halfway lift. As you exhale, let the right foot move to the back of the mat. Lower your right knee to the floor. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, let's come back onto the right leg, left toes to the, to the face. And again, rebend to the left leg. Come into the fingertips, lift the head chest forwards. And then come back onto the right leg, left toes to the face. Last time, sinking down into that left foot to draw the head chest forwards. We'll take the left hand inside your left foot, heel toe the foot over towards the left side. You can come down onto your palms. Let's turn the left foot onto its side. Maybe you come down onto your forearms. Draw your chest forwards, inhale, and exhale. You could bring that right heel into your bum, reach back with your left hand for your left foot, uh, right foot, and then push your foot into your hand as you twist. Good. Don't worry, if you don't catch hold of the foot, you can reach for it. Inhale. Good, and then exhale. Lovely. Good, releasing that left leg, uh, right leg. Bring your left hand back, left foot flat, and then let's come back up into a, a lunge. So you're lifting up your right knee. Can rock forwards and back here. Good. Now you're going to take your left foot to the back of the mat, and then bring your right foot forwards. This side feels nice and stiff now, so you can lower your left knee down, release your left toes, draw your head, chest forward, sink into it for a little moment. And we'll come back onto the left leg and draw the right toes to your face. Good, okay, step it back onto the right leg, draw the head, chest forwards, find a little bit of heat, a little bit of space. Come back onto the left leg, draw the right toes up. And last time, bending down, or stepping down onto that right foot, drawing the head chest forwards. You can bring your right hand inside your right foot, heel toe the foot out towards the side, come down onto your palms. You can turn your right foot onto its side so the knee splays out. You can stay here, or you can come down onto your forearms. Breathing in. And breathing out, just sink into that for a moment. If you want, you could bend the left leg in so that we can get into the quad a little bit and then reach back with the right hand for the left foot. That's it. And, or if you're not catching hold of the foot, you're reaching for it. Inhale. You can also be on your left hand yeah, rather than the left elbow. Exhale. Release. Tucking your back toes, right foot flat onto the floor. You're going to lift your back knee up off the floor. That's it. And bring your left foot forwards now. Sit your hips down. Malasana. So I've already been here, but with the block underneath your, your hips. So now push the elbows open, lift the head, chest up. How does that feel? Inhale. Good. Exhale. Maybe you can reach your arms up to the sky. Lift your chest up to the sky and just see what happens. Yeah. And maybe the floor's not too far away. You can just let your bum sit down onto the mat. <laughs> Good. Then bring your legs up. You're in a, a boat pose. Hold it there. Keep drawing your belly back. Extend your right leg straight. Keep the core nice and strong. Bring the right leg in, extend the left leg nice and straight, keep the core strong. 
Good, bring the left leg in, right leg back out. Squeeze the belly in. Good, right knee in, left leg out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, uh, open up your knees. Take your arms inside the legs. Squeeze your knees in towards your rib cage. Lift your chest up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. That's it. And then you can rest the edges of the feet on the floor. Lift yourself up and fold forwards. Good. You can take a little rock from side to side. Check in with that. How does that feel there? You reach your hands a little bit further forwards. Take one more breath. All right, slowly roll your way back up and we're gonna cross the legs, you can um, cross the legs and go through into your um, all fours or you can take the legs to the sides. Got it. <laughs> take a little hat cow, let the belly sink, lift the head chest up, hopefully everything's feeling much better now. And then round into the back chin to chest. All right, coming back to neutral. Tuck your toes under. Let's lift the hips up and back, down facing the up. Now we take the right leg up to the sky. You can bend your knee and open up the hip. Should feel nice there now. Maybe try bending and straightening your left leg. Let's see how that helps you work your way into your legs a little bit more. We'll bring the right knee into your nose, right foot inside the right hand and lower your left knee down. Notice I didn't say um, to extend that left leg back. Yes, yeah, so we're pretty much coming knee under hip. You can bring your hands onto your right leg. That's it. Now tuck your tail under, core nice and strong. Lift your left arm up. Okay, and then let the left arm swing past you. Maybe you can rest your left fingers on your calf. Maybe you can let the, let, uh, rest them on your heel. Your right arm's gonna go up towards the sky, wherever you are. You can also have the left hand just resting on the thigh. Push down through your right leg a little bit more. Breathe into that right side. To come out, push through the left heel to come up. Good. Bringing your left hand all the way back down, lifting up the back knee. You take your front foot to the back, find your plank, and then lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, squeeze the heels down. Wiggle the hips. So it's gonna feel nice now to take the left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip. And again, you can bend and straighten the right leg. And see how that helps you to get into the legs a little bit more. Then we bring the left knee into your nose, left foot side to hands. All right, so we're not moving that right leg back. You can keep the knee where it is, just below the hip, more or less. And then bring your arms up. Good, start to get the tuck, and the tuck of the tail, the bracing of the core. Right arm goes up to the sky. And then you can let your right arm swing behind you. So you might rest your hand on the back of the thigh. You can look back, maybe you can rest your hand on your calf. Maybe it goes to the heel of your foot, left arm up. And you're gonna really press down to your left heel. Find that grounding, find that rooting. Inhale. To come out, push away from the leg. Left hand comes back, right hand comes back. Lift the back knee up. And then take the front foot to the back. Hips up and back into that downward facing dog. Squeeze the heels then, lift the hips up. Inhale. And exhale. Come up high into your toes, bring yourself forwards into that plank pose. You're gonna lower yourself all the way down onto the mat, belly down. Hop of the hands off, pinch your shoulder blades together. Then reach your hands towards the back of the mat, your forehead's on the floor. Pinch, pinch, pinch the shoulders together. Bring your hands forwards and then extend the arms forwards, forwards, forwards. Hover the hands off the floor. Bring in, bending the elbows, bring the hands back underneath your shoulders. 
Pop the hands onto the floor and then lift your head, chest up. A nice little cobra. You're going to take it back into child's pose. Knees open, big toes touching, hips into the heels. Reach the hands as far forwards as you can. Inhale. And exhale. Come back on to all fours. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward dog. Swing your right leg up to the sky. You can bend and straighten that left leg. See how all that side's feeling there. Bring your right knee into your nose, right foot inside the right hand. So we're going to keep that left foot where it is. Bend the left knee, it's hovering off the floor. And then you can bring your hands onto your right thigh. Well done. Okay, so it's a little bit deeper now. Lift your left arm up to the sky. Keep hovering the left knee, left hand goes back. You can rest your hand on your left calf, just lift your uh, left thigh, you lift your chest up, or look back. Maybe you can rest your hand on the calf. Maybe you can reach your right arm up to the sky. Bend deep into the front leg, hold it, inhale. Good, as you exhale, come back, right hand comes in, left hand follows, front foot to the back. Good, take the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Hopefully you can feel the fire in your leg there, inhale. And exhale. So take the left leg up to the sky, you can bend the knee, open up the hip, you can Bend and straighten your right leg. It feels nice. Yeah, and then bring your left knee into your nose. Left foot inside the hand. In case you're not lengthening the start, the stance. You're going to hover your right knee off the floor. And then bring your hands onto your thigh. That's it. So find that strong base there. Right arm can go up. And you can take the right hand back, make me rest it on the back of the thigh, just lift your chest up, or look back, right hand onto the calf, maybe walk your fingers towards your heel, left arm up to the sky, find that balance, I know it's a wobbly one, push down through your right there, left heel, inhale, exhale, core strong to come back, straightening into your right leg, right hand comes down, front foot to the back. <laughs> Elbows bend as you lower yourself all the way down. Forehead on the floor, untuck your toes, pop your hands off, pinch your shoulder blades together. Take your hands towards your feet, palms are up, try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bring your hands forward, try and put your hands on the floor. Reach them as far forward as you can, maybe you can lift your arms up. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, pinch your shoulder blades together. All right, see if you can lift your head, lift your chest, and then bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms onto the floor. Yeah, <laughs> good. Press your palms together. Now, you know, uh, just um, like a cat cow, they let your chest drop, rounding into the back. Chest drop, rounding into the back. You can also do little circles. Notice how you push your body away from the floor. Yeah, so you're retracting, <laughs> contracting, retracting, protracting. How can you use the floor to push away? Keeping that stress. Push away from the floor, round into the upper back, lift your thighs and your hips off the floor, keep your feet long, keep your core strong, hold it there. Hopefully core is firing. Yeah. Breathing in. As you breathe out, lower your knees, lower the thighs, lower the hips, and then lift the head, chest up. Good, you get to stretch out what you've worked. I'm gonna do that two more times. Round into your upper back, lift the thighs, lift the knees, drag, imagine the feet dragging towards the elbows. 
Core strong. Good. Lower the knees, lower the thighs, lower the hips. Lift the chest up. Last one. Round into the upper back. Hover the hips, hover the thighs, hover the knees. Core strong. Breathe. Good. Lower the knees, lower the thighs, lower the hips. Lift the chest. Welcome to your core. Lower yourself all the way down. Palms flat. Come into a cobra or an upward dog so you can really stretch out what you've worked. And then come back into your downward facing. Uh, sorry, child's pose, guys. <laughs> Big toes touching. Relax in between the legs, forehead down onto the mat. How's that feeling? So when you're ready, catch hold of your block and have your hands just on the edges, edge of the blocks. Yeah, on the edge of the blocks. Reach your arms forwards, keep pressing your hands into the block now. And we're gonna come up onto the elbows. Bring your knees underneath your hips. Keep pushing away from the floor. Yeah, keep rounding into the upper back. Keep pressing your hands into the block. Look at the block. Tuck your toes under and then lift the hips up and then look at your shins. That's it, keep pushing away from the floor so your head's not on the floor. And then you can maybe walk your feet closer towards your elbows and just have a little wobble from side to side. Find the strength, keep pressing the hands into the block. Good. From here, just walk your feet out so you're coming into a forearm uh, plank pose. Shoulders come over the elbows, bum goes down, legs go back. Keep squeezing the block as you walk your feet all the way back to your elbows. You can look at your shins. You can lift your hips up. Keep squeezing the block. You've got one more, then walk the feet back. Start to bring the shoulders over the elbows, the head forwards over the block. Yeah. And then take it right back, walking the feet up. Looking to your feet, keep squeezing the block. Good. Then you can lower the knees. You can keep your toes tucked under and roll your way up. Shake out the shoulders. How are we feeling there? Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe in. Good. And breathe out. Okay. Releasing the hands. Pop the block to one side, come back into downward dog. Just a little flow, and then I want to play with something. So we're going to lift your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up your hip. Bring your right knee into your nose. Nice, and then once you get there, slide the left leg back, we come up into a high lunge. From high lunge, drop the back heel, open up into your warrior two. That's it, good. From warrior two, straighten your right leg, turn your right toes in, bend deep into the left leg, maybe right toes go to the sky. Sink down into that Skandasana lunge. You can maybe take your left arm if you're low enough, underneath your left shin, rotate the palm up, right hand goes behind your back, maybe catch hold of the fingers, it's all maybes from here. Open up the chest. Good. Release. Come all the way back to the center, straightening both legs now, facing the left side. Inhale, lift your head, chest up. So it's a wide leg forward fold. Exhale, walk your hands through your legs. Relax your head. Try and draw your head through your legs. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. But come all the way back up to standing. Open up the right toes to the right. Bend into the right leg. You're back into your warrior two. Right leg bent, left leg straight. Good. Big circle with the right hand down. Left hand follows, front foot to the back. Elbows brushed by the rib cage. Cobra up dog. And then take it up and back, downward facing dog. Squeeze your heels down, lift your hips up, nice big breath in. 
and a long breath in. Left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up that hip. Good, left knee into nose, left foot inside your left thumb. Good, slide the right leg back a little bit, and let's come up into a high lunge. Good, good, good. <laughs> From high lunge, come into your right two. Adjust that front foot, sit down nice and low. Good, so you are straight in the front leg, turn the left toes in, start to bend into the right leg. You might want to turn those right toes out as well. Yeah, see how low feels good to go. Now you can be higher and not do this bit. Otherwise, take your right arm underneath your right shin, rotate the palm up, left arm up to the sky, reach around, catch hold of the fingers, open up the shoulder, breathing in. Good, as you breathe out, release. Come to a wide leg forward fold. So you're going to straighten the left leg, turn both toes inwards and relax in between the legs. You can walk your hands forwards and towards the left side, going through your legs. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to try and relax forwards, try and take weight into your toes. That's it. And inhale, lifting the head, chest up. You're going to bend into uh, the left leg and then come up into your warrior two. Good, so down nice and deep, inhale. As you exhale, left hand to the floor. Big circle with the right hand. And then left foot, left foot to the back of the mat. Vinyasa, go with the flow. Cobra up dog. Maybe a downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Good, well done. So one more flow, take your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Right knee into nose, right foot inside the right hand. Come up into that high lunge. Good, and then ground the back heel, come into your right two. Nice, straighten your right leg, turn the right toes in. You might want to turn the left toes out slightly. Sink down into your skandasana. It. Left arm underneath the left shin, right arm up to the sky. Hopefully, there's loads more space there. You can open up into that right shoulder. Good. And then release. Come into that wide leg forward fold. Straighten the right leg, toes turn inwards. Inhale, lift your head, chest up. Exhale, walk your hands through your legs, relax your head, pull yourself through. Inhale, now lift your head, chest up. Rest your hands underneath your shoulders. Try and come up high onto your toes. Lift your heels up. Push into your hands and round into your upper back. Come onto the very big toes if you can. And then squeeze the heels back down. Try that one more time. Roll forwards into the hands. You can have the hands on blocks. You can have your knees bent. Lift, lift, lift up. Push up into your shoulders. Try and lift up onto your big toes. And lower back then. Good. Roll your way up. Open up the right toes to the right. Sink down back into your right two. Yes, good. Right hand to the floor. Big circle with the left hand. Front foot to the back. Vinyasa. Elbows bend. Cobra up dog. Pick it up and back down with placing dog. One big breath in and a long breath out. Last side, left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Good, left knee into nose, left foot inside the left thumb. All right, come up into that high lunge. Yeah, from your high lunge, come into your warrior two. Yes, now straighten the front leg. Left toes in, maybe you need to turn those right toes out a bit as you sink down into your scan, that's enough. Now you might be higher and stay there, or you can take your right arm underneath your right shin, right palm to the sky, left arm around your back, catch hold of the fingers. 
Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release. Come back into your wide leg. Forward fold. Both legs straight. Relax in between your legs. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your way through. Now, so see if you can see the ceiling. <laughs> Inhale. Lift the head, chest up. Palms flat. Maybe you bend your knees so your palms are flat. And you're going to rock forwards into the hands and try and lift your heels up. Try and come up onto your big toes, really round into your upper back to do that. And then lower the heels right back down. And again, rock into the hands. You might surprise yourself and those feet might float off the floor. And then lower the heels right back down. Good. Roll your way up. Come back into your warrior two, opening up the left toes towards the front of the mat. And then left hand to the floor and right hand to the floor, front foot to the back. Vinyasa. Cobra up dog. And meet me in downward facing dog. Long breath in. And a long breath out. Yeah, just lower the knees for a moment. Keep your toes tucked under. Okay, I'm going to take the hands behind your back. Are you ready? Draw your shoulders back. Open up the chest. So time for a little bit of fun, okay? You know, we've already done dolphin pose. So we're going to do dolphin pose, but with one elbow down. I'll show you what we'll do with the other one, okay? So you can release the hands. Come into downward dog. Now. I want you to lower your left elbow down to the floor. Okay, and then just keep your right hand in that line, but slide the right hand so it comes in line with your left elbow. Yeah, so I'm going to change direction so you can see. Yeah, so it's that kind of um, space. Now you can keep your head lifted. And you can try and lift your right leg up to the sky. And that's enough right there. Otherwise, keep looking down at the mat. Come up high onto your left toes. Push into your left elbow. Maybe your left foot hovers off the floor. You've really got to push down through your right hand for that left foot to hover. If it doesn't hover, don't worry. It's enough just being there. Yeah. One more breath. Play with it. When you're ready, lower your left leg, lower your right leg, lower your knees. Come back. Ah, did we have some success there? <laughs> Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, squeeze your shoulders back, enjoy it. <laughs> Playing with the other side. Coming into downward facing dog. So now you're going to press your right elbow down onto the mat and then bring your left hand so it comes in line with your right elbow. Now you can play with moving that right hand in a little bit, you know, see if that helps you. But otherwise, you're going to look down at the mat, you're going to take your left leg up to the sky. This is enough right here. Otherwise, you're going to roll into your right foot. Maybe the right foot hovers off the floor. You've got to really push down to your left hand for it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> See how it goes. Play with it. Doesn't matter if you get lift off or not. It's enough just to be in the stretch. And when you're ready, you lower your right leg, lower your left leg, and then sit back. Good. Take your hands behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze your shoulders back. We've got one more variation on that. So let's give it a go. You can also repeat the same thing again. All right. So if you're used to doing a headstand, then this should be fine. If, it, if you're not quite used to doing the headstand yet, then take, don't take your foot off the floor. All right. So here we go. Downward dog. 
Now, once you're in your downward dog, you can lower your right elbow, uh, sorry, your left elbow down onto the mat. Again, if you want to bring that left hand in towards the center a little bit, you can. Right hand comes in line with your left elbow. Now, just pop the crown of the head on the floor next to your left elbow and then take your right leg up to the sky. This is enough right here. Make sure you've got weight in your left arm. Maybe your left toes float off the floor and you come into a little weird headstand. Maybe not. Play with it, but you've got to have weight in that right hand. Make sure you've got weight in the right hand. If you lift it up, lower your left leg, lower your right leg, all nice and calm. Yeah. Untuck your toes, sit back. Well done. Looks all right. Release. Take your hands behind your back with your head a little shake. Make sure everything's okay. Now remember, it's not about coming into the headstand. It's about being in that stretch, okay? So last time, downward dog. Maybe you can show me, send me a picture of how it's going. Find that downward dog shape. Lower your right elbow to the floor. Slide your left hand back in line with your right elbow. Maybe your left hand, uh, right hand comes in slightly. Gently lower the crown of the head next to your right elbow. And then take your left elbow up to the sky, uh, left a uh, leg up to the sky. Notice the L shape of my left arm. Maybe roll up onto your right toes. Maybe that right leg hovers up towards the left leg. These are all maybes. It's nice if you've got the right leg down because you're getting a nice stretch in the right hamstring. Whenever you want to come back, or if you lifted the leg, lower the right leg, lower the left leg, come back. <laughs> Good. Take the hands behind your back one last time. Draw your shoulders back. Open up your chest. One more breath. <sighs> Good to get an inversion in. <laughs> Release the hands. Palms flat onto the floor. A few cat cows here. Make sure your fingers are behind your knee knees. Inhale, lift the head, chest up, arch your back. Exhale, round into the back, chin to chest. And again, inhale, draw the head, chest forwards. Good, and then round into the back, chin to chest. Last time, inhale, draw the head, chest forwards. Good, now as you exhale, round into the back, chin to chest, lift your knees up, try and drive those feet all the way through, or you're just gonna sit down onto your bum, take your legs out in front. Push down through your fingertips, lift up nice and tall, and then fold over your legs, relax your head. Maybe you can um, rock from side to side so you feel that nice stretch through your legs. One more breath. And then slowly roll your way up. <laughs> Get bend your knees, bring your bum to your heels, reach your arms forwards and then slowly lower down. Um, if you can, just catch hold of your block. Mine's there, I'm going to catch it with my feet. Squeeze the block inside the legs. I really don't want to do this, which means that we have to do it. So push your, uh, squeeze your knees into the block, have your heel close to your bum. Big breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze the block, lift the hips up, keep pressing the, the, the knees into the block. And then try and hover your right leg off the floor. Keep squeezing the block. Think about your hamstring. Think about your glute. Maybe you can pulse, feeling the strength through that left leg. Good. Lower your right foot back down. Try and lift the hips up a little higher. If you need to have your to toes turned out slightly, you can. That will help your knees. And then slowly lower back down. As always, we have two sides, inhale, 
As you exhale, belly button back, push through both feet, lift the hips up. Yeah, if your knees are pulling here, turn the toes outwards. But you're gonna try and lift your left leg up off the floor. Push through your left heel, try and lift the hips up. Hamstring strong, glute strong, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then re-bend the left leg. Sole of the foot flat on the floor, lift the hips up. And then slowly lower the spine there. Good, bring your knees into your chest and let both knees fall to the right. You can keep the block there. You get a nice twist here, inhale. And exhale. And then bring the knees back into the center. And we're gonna let them fall to the other side. Squeeze the knees together. Bring the knees back into the center. Now we're gonna take the legs up and over the head. You can keep hold of the block. Take a moment. Make sure that you've not got loads of weight in your neck. Keep squeezing the block as you bring your heels into your bum and your legs straight up to the sky. And then you can lower the legs down. You're welcome to take the block away. Palms can go flat and then we'll start to lower the spine down. Gets quite nice with the block there. But we'll catch hold of the block, bring the soles of the feet together and knees open. You know, if you would like, you can lift your hips up, slide the block underneath your sacrum. And you get a little bit more, a uh, bit more height. So you've got a little bit more space to stretch those inner thighs open, the hips open. You can take your arms up and over your head. Breathing in. Breathing in. Take one more breath. All right, take your time. You can keep the block there, bring your knees up. And then you're gonna extend your legs straight, let your toes fall out towards the side. If you wanna remove the block, you can. If you wanna bring your arms down by your side, you can. But take a little bit of time here, let your eyes close, let your face relax. Hope your body's feeling good. When I started the practice, like I said, I felt like a, a, an old grandma, very, very, very old grandma. Because I know some grandmas are pretty amazing. I felt like a really old one. I feel much better now, and hopefully you do too. Now just take this moment to rest. Rebuild your strength ready for the day or ready for whatever's ahead. Just a few moments to relax and let the muscles be soft. Let the practice you know, settle in your bodies. You're welcome to stay there for as long as you need. Otherwise, you're going to start to breathe a little bit deeper. And we've got 
wiggle fingers and wiggle toes. Do a long lazy yawn, reaching your arms above the head, squeezing your legs together, that full body stretch there. And then roll to the right hand side into your feet or shape. And then keeping your eyes closed, make your way up to seated to face the front, sit in any shape that feels right for you today. Arms together, thumbs into your chest bone. In gratitude to the practice. And I'm super grateful for you guys being here today. So take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Namaste, have a beautiful rest of your day. As always, let me know if there's anything that you need. Send me pictures of the headstand. Have a great day, guys.